Hello, Chef Pearson, Valley Auto Club. Taking a look at this 1955 window Chevy 3100. This is a great truck. Love this truck. There's definitely uh, $20,000 trucks, 30, 40, even above. This one is uh, stock. It's just a nice, inexpensive truck like Grandpa used to have. Not a uh, whole lot of modifications that have been done to it. It's all 1950s. New wheels, so no dry rod issues you have to deal with there. Uh, nice beauty rings on the steel wheel, and then half moon hubcaps. So it looks sharp, but uh, underside, wood is solid. It's a pretty fun uh, weekend project, couple day project. If you want to pop those boards, sand them down, they're plenty solid, easy to do, refinish them. If that's your cup of tea, you can go for it. Discs on the back, or I mean drums, it's drums all the way around. Front and rear, we just got done adjusting those. So real nice up underneath the wheel wells. Real solid, both sides. You can get up and through there. Looks really, really nice. Frame is good. Cross members. Spring shocks. It's underneath the running board. These corner pockets are kind of known for their issues. There's a little bit of uh, mudding that was done. But when you look up in on the underside, good patina. Uh, with with a little mud that's been repaired. Pretty common, pretty typical. You know, this is a uh, factory six-cylinder. You do see some moistness there. Seals, etc. Common for this era. But uh, when it sits in the showroom, it's not what I'd really call a leaker. So, well patina, just adjusted the brakes, got new brake lines, front fenders, you know, good patina, but not a horror story. Original front end. Wheels are wheels are tight. You've got the the suspension and steering of 1950. So good truck runs out fabulously. You know I'd still call this a, a backroads truck. Invariably I'll get people ask me if they could use it for a daily driver in downtown Houston. I would say uh, only if you're brave. But solid truck. You know it's not going to give you any troubles. Just not a truck that was designed for for modern freeways, modern freeway speed. But uh, I jump in it, have fun, use it like a truck, and it's going to grab a lot of attention. We'll talk about the uh, uh, top side on the next video. But there's a quick look at the underside. So certainly not perfect under there. Signs of uh, a little bit of moisture that's been fixed but certainly not nothing that I saw would lead this to being a problem truck by any means so we'll talk to you on the next video this is Shep Sun Valley Auto Club just gonna lower this top it off with oil and uh, we'll see you on the next video this is Shep Sun Valley Auto Club 208-721-1973